KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Friday, November 3rd. I'm Rudy Bay Shabazi. And I'm Marcy Gonzalez. Thanks so much for waking up with us here on KCAL News and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Here are the stories we're tracking this morning. We're determined that this conflict not spread. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in the Middle East trying to ease tensions as the war intensifies between Hamas and Israel. She was crying when I first spoke to her. Dozens of Americans flee the war zone, including locals from Southern California. Hear their harrowing stories as desperate families try to get them back home. You are responsible for the impact you have on your neighbors, on the community. And another dangerous crash along PCH in Malibu in the exact same spot where four Pepperdine students died. What's being done at a section of PCH called Dead Man's Curve? But first, let's get a look at your next weather with Amber Lee joining us now. Good morning. Feels Hi. like we're officially in fall. Yeah, it starts. It's starting to oh, in the mornings. It's in the morning. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and then morning. in the afternoon, we're going back to summer, and that's because we have those warmer afternoons. But today's the day where the cooling trend officially begins, and you can see it right here with our Long Beach camera. Low clouds and fog, patchy, are have returned, and we're going to start to see the return of that marine layer as we head into the next few days. Uh, right now, Long Beach though still a little bit cool, so grab the layers. 57 degrees, and then here's a look at our current condition. This is the reason why we have frost advisories for areas like the Antelope Valley because we are still sitting just slightly above freezing. 36 degrees for Lancaster. We have some chillier conditions in Palm Dot. 43, also chilly for Victorville and Hesperia. And then everywhere else we're looking at temperatures in the 40s and 50s. So still a really cool and chilly morning. But here's a look at our highs once we head toward the afternoon. Those temperatures start to climb, but then we're looking at those temperatures actually a little cooler than the last few days, and that's because the sea breeze returned yesterday, so that's why the patchy low clouds and fog have returned. 77 for the coast. We still have 80s once you head inland, but I'll tell you about those fall-like weather, or fall-like conditions headed our way. Kalina. All right, good morning. Let's start off with a look at the 14 freeway heading southbound this morning, where we do have an incident slowing you down as you make your way out of Palmdale and try to get into Santa Clarita. So we do have a two-car crash. It's southbound 14 right at Soledad Canyon Road. The left lane is blocked off and we have speeds down to four miles per hour. You can see how heavy the delay is right as you get closer and closer into Santa Clarita this morning. Uh, it'll take you about an hour and 26 minutes to get through that stretch of the roadway, so give yourself some extra time. And we do have a stalled car right now, northbound 110 at Exposition. The left lane is blocked off and that is backing you up through South LA. Here's a look at Sky Cal this morning on the 101 in Hollywood, where you can see some volume out there, but no incidents to report. We do have some traffic though on the five out of down into downtown as well and a quick look at Orange County not bad here but the 91 is slowing down out of Corona heading into Orange County. Marcy back to you. All right Kalina thank you. The war between Israel and Hamas may seem like it's a world away but for two local families it got intensely personal this week. Yeah we are just learning details about a Camarillo mom and a City Hall employee who have just escaped from Gaza. KCAL news reporter Rick Montanez is live at City Hall with their stories. Rick. And good morning. I can't wait for that. That's an interesting assignment. I like it. Yeah, it is. All right, <laughs> Nate, thanks so much. Yeah. We'll be watching. Really appreciate it. And we are giving you two options as we head into the next hour on CBS Los Angeles Channel 2. Nate and the rest of the CBS Mornings team will start at 7. Or you can turn it over to KCAL News Channel 9, where we are kicking off another four hours of local news. And here are just a few of the news stories you'll see. Coming up at 710, a live report from Tel Aviv as Anthony Blinken is in the Middle East. At 8.30, are your online purchases counterfeit goods? How to spot the fakes? And at 9.45, picking out the best things to do this weekend in Southern California, including where you can see a double feature of Back to the Future and La Bamba. And thanks so much for watching KCAL News Mornings at 6. KCAL News on Channel 9 continues right after the break.